हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे इज फिफ्थ ऑफ सितंबर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द हिंदू न्यूज़पेपर एनालिसिस डिस्कशन एंड थैंक यू ऑल गाइस फॉर योर लवली विशेस ऑन दिस टीचर्स डे एंड आई एम रियली ब्लेस्ड फाइंड दिस प्रोफेशन एंड आई एम रियली ब्लेस्ड टू हैव स्टूडेंट्स लाइक यू हु ऑलवेज सपोर्ट्स अस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ऑल योर काइंड विशेस नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो फॉर टुडे सो गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू आस्क यू दैट is audio and video everything very clear or not and particularly the audio thing so please tell us that first of all it is clear okay now <clears throat> moving on uh, and i would also like to tell you that you can download explainer notes of this particular session from our telegram channel link for telegram is given in description box in youtube now first of all let's see overview of entire newspaper so that we can understand that which articles are important in today's newspaper so here on first page ready to assess capacity of 13 hill states government tells supreme court so guys this is because of recent development that has happened which has impacted ecosystem and because of that many catastrophic uh, catastrophic events have happened so carrying capacity of himalayan states will be judged and it will be seen that whether development is sustainable here or not then chinese president will not attend a g20 summit so this is something that was expected earlier also okay and then moving on we have uh, these uh, regional issues advertisements and all such kind of a things not important for our examination and uh, directly guys we will be moving on and we will reach to our editorial section because, because before the editorial section just advertisements political statements etc such kind of a things have been given so coming to editorial page now here we have this article a distraction balloon the winds of federalism now basically guys as we talk about this particular article the article is talking about the one nation one election okay so we'll take this particular article for exam here this particular side article is also talking about one nation one election we'll take uh, this particular aspect also here in this article only then moving on to next article emerging countries need women led climate action we'll take this particular article for examination then despite despite minor deceleration gst inflows create room to expedite tax rates okay so guys it, uh, the article talks about the gst um, collections however there is a little bit slow down now uh, understand this particular thing guys you are not required to track gst collections month by month okay not needed for our exam point of view then further moving on after that uh, coming to next page living in the age of moral dystopia so guys uh, we uh, i have read this particular article the article doesn't contains much of the content with respect to the examination okay so basically there are certain inst uh, in incidents that have happened for example in manipur there has happened then there was a rape case that happened which talks about that the people they are behaving so immorally and all such kind of a things okay moving on uh, exam related substance is not largely there then <clears throat> further moving on uh, to the next page coming to text and context so here we have one article on aditya l1 so guys i think from last 15 days not even a single day has been missed by hindu where they have not reported one article or aditya l1 okay and i think we also have discussed it at least 12 13 times we'll take this also okay some different dimension is there that we will take here then coming to text and context page understanding lesite the french principle of secularism we'll take this particular article also for example then further moving on if begins western air command annual exercise okay uh, then cj asked for dictionary for article 370 is above basic structure now uh, right now guys what is going on in supreme court hearing is going on with respect to article 370's dilution uh, which happened in 2019 by which state special status of jammu and kashmir got changed now as this particular case is going on in supreme court every day there are some arguments and counter arguments which are being reported you are not required to track it every day for exam point of view okay <clears throat> then further moving on uh, that doctors visit a relief camp in manipur living poor living condition okay so guys moving on and here we have largely the political statements political issues that are there moving on to the next page vikram lander does a hop goes to sleep good night till september 20 so basically guys we have followed this entire development of chandrayaan 3 where chandrayaan 3 landed and what are the major payloads there and all such kind of a things now what has happened Vik uh, vikram lander it has been um, basically vikram lander it goes on a sleep mode now what is this hop so basically guys hop 
can simply be said as a kind of a jump that it has made. So basically, Vikram lander it elevated around thirty. Uh, it elevated around forty centimeters. It elevated around forty centimeters and then it got displaced thirty to thirty to forty centimeters away. So it hopped and jumped like this. Okay. So this is a hop that has been done by Vikram lander. Now this is something important. Why? Because in future we are looking forward to take humans on moon and to bring them back. So therefore that particular thing, uh, basically taking off from moon, okay, these particular kind of an exercises play a very important role. Now Vikram lander, okay, uh, it goes to a sleep mode. Why? Because guys understand this particular thing that uh, uh, it will be restarted back on September 20. Okay. Then moving on to uh, moving on in this particular direction below here we have one article telecom firm civil society groups divided over selective ban on apps we we'll take this particular article after COVID-19 Russia rolls out red carpet for Indian tourists again nothing much important is there no deal until West meets Moscow's demand Putin okay so basically guys uh, right now you already know this thing Russia Ukraine war is going on and as Russia Ukraine war is going on Understand there is a particular implication that has come on Europe. What type of implication? See, Ukraine is breadbasket of Europe. And a lot of grains, cereals, they come from Ukraine to Europe. Now what happened? As Russia-Ukraine war is going on, Russia is not allowing Ukraine to send grains to Europe. Earlier there was Black Sea Grain Initiative that was signed. And under this Black Sea Grain Initiative, Russia agreed that shipments going from Ukraine to Europe carrying food grains, they will not be obstructed. But recently what has happened, Russia has again backed out from Black Sea Grain Initiative and Turkey is trying to broker this particular deal again. And Russia has made it very clear that we will not sign any new deal until and unless, until and unless West agrees to all the demands raised by Russia. Okay, so this is something that has happened. Looking forward to India trip, disappointed she is not attending. So, this is about the G20 summit that is going to happen. Now, this article, CBDCs can make payment across borders efficient. Okay, so we'll take this particular article for the exam what it is take, talking about. Then we have these particular corporate trends, etc. Okay, India may add 7 lakh gig jobs by November. Tim, is. So, basically what are gig jobs? Gig jobs uh, gig jobs are those where employees don't have any formal permanent relation with employer. Work will be done per assignment basis. For example, let's say I hire a video editor to edit my video and I say that person that I will be paying you per video and whenever I will have your requirement, I will call you. I am not going to give you any fixed salary. This is gig arrangement between me and that video editor. So these gig jobs, gig employments have increased a lot, particularly by arrival of Swig, Nato, Urban, Uber. For example, if I drive a cab in Ola or Uber, I am paid per ride basis. I don't have, I am not getting any permanent salary from that particular company. So these gig jobs are increasing more and more because of these tech startups that have come and 7 lakh gig jobs will be added by November according to. Okay, this is something to steam lease services provide this particular thing if you want you can add it in your answer okay then apollo hospitals and meals advanced connected nothing much important for exam is there then we have the sports page okay and then guys moving on uh, moving on to the last here we have this science page which talks about a radical idea to settle the universe expansion dispute now understand this particular thing guys that when we talk about a universe you might already be knowing that 13.8 billion years ago there was big bang that happened so there was a, a big bang that happened and after that big bang universe has expanded now understand this particular thing the speed by which universe was expanding was very rapid in the start however over years that particular speed is deaccelerating the speed is deaccelerating now basically the speed by which the universe has expanded that is calculated onto the basis of a uh, um, mathematical calculation given by uh, Edwin Hubble, which is called as the Hubble's. But there is a still one particular contention that how to settle what is a speed of expansion. So for that particular thing, it is it is being said that there are now 
just one line concept you need to see one line concept you need to see so basically it is being provided that recently what has happened a study was published in a study was published into the journal uh, uh, journal physical review letters now basically it has been provided yes now it has been provided this particular thing that international center for theoretical sciences bangalore inter university center for astronomy and astrophysics pune and the university of california santa barbara now these three organizations have proposed a way to determine hubble constant find a way to determine hubble constant find which will uh, which will predict what is precise rate at which universe is expanding and by 2040 by 2040 their method will provide an independent measurement this is something that they have talked about now by 2040 their predictions will come out okay so this is something now understand one particular thing that for upsc examination you are not required to read theoretical physics you are required to read the developments of science and technology which is a little bit different area so i advise you not to go in too much of those these four physics or theoretical physics article that are published in the newspaper basics you understand okay that is all guys about it and i hope that you have understood it now moving on and let's take all the relevant articles one by one in detail so these are synoptic notes that i was telling you you can download it from our telegram channel link is given in description box in every class we start with the gs quotation which can be used to complement our answers either in gs 1 2 3 4 or in essay today we'll take quotation from jules renard so jules renard says liberty is the right to and freedom is the result of right choice freedom is a result of right choice now often we make wrong choices in life in our social political economic life and because of these wrong choices what happens rather than getting freedom we lose our freedom okay so basically liberty is the right to choose and freedom is the result of those right choices you can use this particular idea in essay you can use this particular idea in essay as well as in gs paper number 2 okay this is all about this particular article or this particular uh, case quotation and now let's discuss first article for today okay so the first article that we are going to take is from text and context section and article talks about understanding lessi tech understanding lessi tech the french principle of secularism the french principle of secularism now we are going to understand this particular article with respect to gs paper number 1 related to secularism related to secularism there directly this particular topic has been now first of all guys let's understand some basic background information and after understanding that background information we'll go in details of this particular article now first of all what do you mean by secular now understand this particular thing that we don't have one specific model of secularism secularism differs from country to country for example as we talk about secularism we have largely three models of secularism one is western model of secular other is indian model of secularism and third is french model of secular so we have these three models of secularism that we have now first of all when we talk about secularism as a concept it was born in west and western model of secularism is largely based on complete separation of religion and uh, religion and state as per the western model of secularism there is a complete separation of religion and state religion and state and when we talk about western model of secularism very properly western model of secularism has been implemented in where after the first constitutional amendment act in the us constitution secularism got implemented okay so prop uh, the, the most perfect application of western model of secularism is found in us where there is a complete separation of religion and state okay in fact one of the founding father of us edison edison he also said this particular thing that there needs to be there needs to be a thick wall of separation between garden of church and wilderness of wild garden of church 
and wilderness of wild. So these two areas need to be kept separate. That is the Western model of secularism. Now, when we talk about Indian model of secularism, Indian model of secularism is based on the idea of Indian model of secularism is based on the idea of karm, 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 sambhav, karm dharma sambhav and karm dharma sampann. Karm dharma sampann means all religions can coexist and all religions can prosper. All religions can prosper together. When we talk about Indian model of secularism, it is not like Western model of secularism, where is a complete separation of state and religion. Rather, in Indian model of secularism, in Indian model of secularism, state, state actively supports, actively supports all religion. States actively support all religion. In Western model, state does not support any religion. In Indian model, states support all religion. Now understand this particular. When we talk about a Western model of secularism, state by not supporting any religion is showing neutrality. India, state by supporting all religion is showing neutrality. So basically, when we talk about neutrality, yeah, it is often called as celebratory neutrality. It is called as celebratory neutrality. Celebratory neutrality. Okay. This is something by which you can understand it. Okay, let's take one example also to understand this particular thing. And uh, this example is like this. Let's suppose a teacher comes in the class and a teacher does not give the chocolate to any student. Is teacher neutral? Yes, teacher is neutral because teacher has not given a chocolate to anyone. But second, teacher comes in the class and this teacher gives a chocolate to everyone. Okay, now is teacher neutral? Yes, there is neutral. Teacher could not have been neutral if he had or she had given chocolate to two students and not to others. But the moment teacher gives chocolate to every student, again teacher is neutral. Now, Indian secularism is neutral in this sense. It supports, it actively supports all religion equally. Therefore, this is Indian model of secularism. Sarva dharma sambhav and sarva dharma sampan. Sarva dharma sambhav and sarva dharma sampan. Now, when we talk about French model of secularism, when we talk about French model of secularism, how French model of secularism is different? So, French model of secularism is actually based on the concept of laissez It is based on concept of laissez Now, what is the meaning of this word laissez-faire? Laissez-faire specifies that there needs to be, now see, laissez it is based on this particular idea that number one, number one, religion, religion is purely a private matter. Religion is purely a private matter. You want to follow religion, we don't stop you. You have a faith on your religion, do that. But do it in private life. And second, religion is discouraged. Religion is discouraged in public life. Religion is discouraged in public life. You cannot depict religion in public life. So if we see here, French secularism is a restrictive secularism. French secularism is a restrictive secularism. They don't allow you to practice your religion in public life or even you cannot showcase religious symbols in public life. This is the basic idea. I hope that you got an idea and now let's go in detail of this particular article. So this understanding you need to have first in your mind. Then only you will be able to appreciate this particular idea even more. Now coming on. So basically why this French model of secularism has now come in new and by the way French model of secularism is use very frequently recently what has happened recently what has happened french government french government they have announced this particular they have announced that the practice of wearing abaya would be banned in state run school now what is abaya first of all let's understand this particular thing so basically abaya it is a long dress so if uh, you can If you observe uh, this particular picture, so here there is this woman who is wearing a long dress. So abaya is a long dress which according to historians got originated in Saudi Arabia around 80 years back and this particular dress is largely worn by women who are practicing Islam but nowadays other women also wear it. So this long dress is called as abaya. 
many a times this particular dress is called as a religious dress which is worn by muslim women so basically recently the authorities have said that in state run school these abayas dress cannot be worn why because in a way when you are wearing this dress and as this dress is related to a religion in a way you are showcasing religions in a public place and as per lesite french secularism no religion no religious expression can be shown in public place so they say that by this particular thing french idea of secularism lesite is getting violated now the people have got divided because of this particular thing on one hand people say that right you have done the right thing this is in fact a religious expression for example guys when we talk about india also there was just one and a half year back there was the hijab issue that developed in karnataka where it was said that wearing of a hijab is also a religious expression so on one hand people have supported that okay but on another hand what has happened this particular move has met with some criticism there are people on another hand who are saying that it is nothing but an attempt of policing of teenagers clothing policing of teenagers clothing now understand this thing now now in india condition was different in france condition is different why it is different understand this particular thing in india uh, the, in the schools uniform is prescribed and that uniform can be regulated by authorities and in that particular thing they can regulate okay that what is to be worn what is not to be worn fine however that particular matter is also going on but on another hand when we talk about france public schools in france they do not have any uniform and as they do not have any uniform students are free to wear whatever they want so when you don't have uniform then how you can regulate that this type of clothes will be worn this type of clothes will not be worn so it has been said that it is undue policing of teenagers clothing that is going on it is attack on freedom and women's bodies okay and moreover it is being said that this lesite has been used as a tool attack on only particular one religion it has been used as a tool of oppression on particularly one religion because guys when we talk about a particular religion okay one religion is there in which a very strict separation in public and private life cannot be made so this is something that has happened now when we talk about this concept of lesite where actively state discourages religion from public life it actually got concretized in france after 1905 okay now before even 1905 law when the uh, french revolution happened after french revolution the ideas of republicanism were born and after those ideas of republicanism secularism was also implemented however formal application of concept of lesite happened in 1905 and for first 45 50 years lesite as a concept did not become any problem in france but when it started to become problem it started to become a problem around 1950s and 1960 1950s and 1960 now 1950s and 1960 okay so basically why 1950s and 60s problem came because this was the time when decolonization was you might be knowing already this particular thing that the france france was a colonial power and it had many colonies now colonies got independent decolonization going on muslim countries such as tunisia morocco algeria okay from these countries large number of people they migrated to france earlier france population was largely homogeneous muslim population was but after 1950 60 more and more muslims will go to france and today if i give you data more than 9% of entire europe's muslim population is actually living in france only now when now see when we talk about muslims when we talk about muslims in muslims you cannot make a very strict separation between private life and public life it cannot happen that if a woman is wearing burqa you say to that woman that you wear burqa only in your home but you cannot wear burqa in outside that cannot happen okay so what happens when the france actively started enforcing the lesite when it started saying this thing that religious symbols cannot be shown what will happen particularly muslims will get offended for example for example wearing skull cap will not be allowed wearing burqa will not be allowed wearing hijab will not be allowed so all these particular thing will be perceived that it is a dedicated attack only on muslims and muslims will say that it is a kind of an islamophobia that france is following they are just targeting us they are just singling us out 
fine this is something that will come now understand this particular thing guys this will also couple up with many other developments now if you know already what happened 9-11 attack 9-11 attack which happened in um, USA then after that in the past we have seen that some of some of the radical elements some of the red, radical elements what they have done they have shot down on journalists at Charlie Hebdo magazine okay there was a shooting that was done in a church in the city of Nice and over a period what has happened in people also sentiments against have increased okay and at the same time state is doing this particular thing so in France very radical polarized communal situation has developed now understand this particular thing that as we talk about France as we talk about France in the past France because of this concept of laissez has a tried to bring a crackdown on religious dresses religious symbols past all for example in 2004 in 2004 France passed a law and prohibited wearing of ostentatious symbols what is ostent uh, ostentatious is something which shows off a particular thing very clean very woke so basically they say that those particular attires those particular symbols which have very clear religious tone will not allow it for example catholic dress not be allowed in public place okay jewish kippa so jewish kippa jewish kippa is a cap that jewish people wear on their head their head okay so that jewish kippa that cap will not be allowed okay muslim head scarves will not be allowed in 2011 also france banned all face covering wheels in public place so any type of clothing which covers your face will not be allowed in france this happened after that guys in past in between also there are multiple developments that happened one sick person were, was also asked to remove his turban okay this is something that has happened so over the years minorities they have really got rattled by france's this application of lessite and now when they have banned this abhaya dress that they talked in the start this is also being seen as a continuation of this particular thing okay in 2020 guys what happened the french president emmanuel macron also banned homeschooling for children over three years old and asked muslims to agree to a charter of republic values now as he is asking muslims to agree to these values again it is being said that this is an attempt of islamophobia just why they every time target the Muslims. This is something that has happened. Now guys, though France is enforcing this secularism so deeply, for example, recently abaya was not allowed, before that head scarves have not been allowed. Still, people, 36% of people in France, they believe that secularism was not sufficiently being defended. Okay, now, understand this particular thing. France also makes a division between two types of Muslims. They say that there is, there is an Islam of enlightenment that we want to build. There is an Islam of enlightenment that we want to build by our secularism. And France also says that rather there are other Muslims also, some specific, some specific people who are uh, 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 leading to some crisis. Those are the people who follow the Islam of separatism. We want to reform it in Islam of El. This is something that is going on in France. So I hope that guys you have understood it. Okay. So that is all about it. And now we'll move to next article. And uh, guys, thank you so much for all of your lovely messages. And I am really grateful to all of such lovely messages. Thank you, uh, Nega. Basavraj, Aditi, Aman, Shashank, uh, Chetra S, Dharani, Bharti, Raj Shekhar, Aishwarya, Renu, Santosh, Pratiba, Harsha, Soumya, Shiva, Prashant, Rahul, Kajal, Potterheads, Life Avenue, Pupa, Kumar Rao, Anil, Yash, Lakshmi Prasanna, Bala Krishna, Study Lover, uh, Jenny, Niranjan, a very good uh, morning and a very uh, much thanks to all. such lovely messages that you have left here on this Thursday. Thank you so much. Now, moving on to next article. Okay, so here we have article on Aditya L1. It's functioning and purpose. Okay, and I uh, can very, I, I, I can say this particular thing. I guess that up till now, by heart, you know what this Aditya L1 is. So many times we have discussed it. 
Now, some new dimensions are there that we are going to take up. This particular article will take up for GS paper number three. This article will take for GS paper number three science and tech as well as for prelims article. Okay. Now, first of all, first of all, let's understand some of very very basic things about this Aditya L1 mission, and then we'll go in detail of this particular article as such. So basically, Aditya L1, Aditya L1 is. So when we talk about Aditya L1, let's just give me a minute. Okay guys, so my apologies for something that came up. Now, Aditya L1 mission, some of the basic things, first of all, let's understand that. So basically, when we talk about Aditya L1, Aditya L1, it is a space, it is a space observatory mission that is being launched by ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, and it will specifically launched study sun study it is india's first uh, sun observatory it is india's first sun observatory that is being launched now few things you need to understand here guys in this respect is that here we have the diagrammatic representation of sun and here you can see the different different parts of sun for example <coughs> for example here when we talk about the outer layers of sun we have photosphere. This is the photosphere here, the different color pen. This is here the photosphere. Then here, this surface of sun is called as chromosphere. And around the sun, environment of uh, atmosphere of sun. So around Earth, we have atmosphere of Earth. So around the atmos, around the sun, atmosphere of sun, this particular region, it is called as a corona. It is called as corona. So basically, as we talk about this particular mission, it is going to it is going to study corona, chromosphere, photosphere. Outer layers of the sun will be studied by this Aditya L1. Now, why this particular name L1? Why the name L1? Basically, understand this particular guys. That L stands for Lagrange point. L stands for Lagrange point. What is a Lagrange point? Lagrange point is a point between bodies where gravity of bodies counter each now for example you have sun here and let's say you have earth here so here we have sun and here we have earth so earth is attracting any body towards itself and the sun is attracting any body towards itself so there will be a point between bodies where the gravity of these two bodies will counterbalance and that particular body will get stabilized that particular body so now see on one hand earth is pulling on one hand sun is pulling so some point their forces will counterbalance and the body will be stabilized in between. so this particular point is called as l1 point and here this aditya mission will be placed okay and this l1 lagrange point l1 it is 1.5 kilometers away from Earth. It is 1.5 kilometers away from 1.5 million kilometers. Away, sorry, 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. Okay, and at this particular point, what will happen? This Aditya L1 mission will have unobstructed view of Sun and can observe Sun. Okay, it has already been launched and it will now take approximate four months. It now approximate take four months to reach this. Okay, and there it is going to observe sun. Here it is going to observe the sun. Now moving on in this particular direction. Moving on in this particular direction. Now basically, guys, things you need to understand.
ओके सो एज आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द लैग रेंज पॉइंट इज अ पॉइंट वेयर ग्रेविटी ऑफ टू बॉडीज काउंटर बैलेंस ईच अदर देयर आर आर अराउंड फाइव सच पॉइंट्स बिटवीन अर्थ एंड सन एल वन एल टू एल थ्री एल फोर एल फाइव एंड द आदित्य विल बी प्लेस्ड ऑन एल वन नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग कैन ऑल्सो बी आज इन एग्जामिनेशन नाउ गाइज वन पर्टिकुलर थिंग ऑल्सो यू नीड इन योर माइंड फॉर एग्जाम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर आदित्य एल वन इट विल गो एट एल वन आदित्य एल वन इट विल गो टू एल वन पॉइंट एंड देयर इट विल ज्वाइन इट विल ज्वाइन सोलर एंड स्पेरिक ऑब्जर्वेटरी तो हो तो हो दिस ऑब्जर्वेटरी ऑब्जर्वेटरी इज ऑलरेडी देयर इन एल वन अगेन आई रिपीट द नेम सोलर एंड हीलियोस्फेरिक ऑब्जर्वेटरी सोलर एंड हीलियोस्फेरिक ऑब्जर्वेटरी दिस ऑब्जर्वेटरी इज ऑलरेडी एट एल वन पॉइंट एंड दिस ऑब्जर्वेटरी इन लॉन्च बाय यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी पी एस ए यूरोपियन स्पेस एंड नासा नेशनल एरोनॉटिक्स एंड स्पेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन तो ई एस एंड नासा हैव लॉन्च इट एंड आदित्य एल वन विल ऑल्सो ज्वाइन इट देयर ना एज आदित्य एल वन विल रीच देयर वट मेजर थिंग इट इज गोइंग टू फोकस अपॉन सो बेसिकली गाइज इट इज गोइंग टू ऑब्जर्व सन नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट गाइज सन सन बेसिकली इन फेजेज सोलर एक्टिविटी इन सन विल इंक्रीज देन इट विल come down then again solar activity will increase then again it will come down then again it will increase and when we talk about solar activity of sun it we can see that whether the sun is active or not by observing sun spots by observing sun spots now what are sun spots sun spots are uh, sun spots are region on sun which are relatively cooler than the sun's surrounding surface so these spots are there on sun which is called as a sun spot and these sun spots increase or decrease over a period of 11 years okay and when the sun is active these sun spots increase and when the sun is active the number of these sun spots goes in hundred and when the sun is the solar activity is minimum these sun spots reduce and they can also come to early so by observing the number of sun spots we can know that whether the sun is active whether the sun is less active so sun's activity will now understand this particular thing guys that when we talk about the sun sun is constant emitting high ultraviolet rays uv rays it is also emitting charged electrons protons it is also emitting solar flares solar winds many such kind of phenomena is being released by sun and all of these particular activity have a very big impact on earth's climate earth's environment now understand this particular thing that when we observe any changes that is hap- that is hap- happening on the sun or in the solar radiation if any change is happening 80% of the changes in solar radiation they occur in ultraviolet range and ultraviolet rays of sun they are absorbed by the uh, ozone in our stratosphere by the ozone and because of that particular thing because of that particular thing what is happening any changes in or uh, sun's solar composition it will have some impact on climate variability on earth also so we need to study that particular thing more also it this particular mission is going to observe the coronal mass ejection coronal mass ejection now what is coronal mass ejection let's understand what is this coronal mass ejection so if you observe this photograph here if you observe this particular photograph here okay so mine if you observe this particular photograph here so basically it is said that at the, from time to time what happen sun from time to time what happens sun sneezes and when sun sneezes a large chunk of coronal mass ejection happens and this coronal mass but a huge cloud it is a huge cloud which consists of billions of tons of energetic plasma fine which con- contains billions of tons of energetic plasma and it is mixed with solar magnetic field and it spreads out at the speed of 250 km per second to 3000 km per second okay so this coronal mass ejection why it happens what is the frequency of such coronal mass ejection ejection can it impact earth in a negative way all these particular things are also to be studied 
then also guys understand this particular thing that I also told you that the sun is a constant emits a stream of charged charged particles. It emits the charged particles. And because of these particular charged particles, it often has an impact on in satellites, instrument in, uh, in, in space probes, etc. Now understand this particular thing. Constantly, this stream of charged particles, it is being emitted and it comes towards Earth also. But if you know, around the Earth, there is a strong magnetic field and that strong magnetic field deflects all those charged, uh, uh, those charged particles towards North and South Pole. Okay, towards the north and south pole. But as these particular charged uh, charged particles are being emitted, it can have impact on GPS devices, short wave communication. They can be disrupted. Electronics equipments in satellite they are constantly in danger. So we need to study them more properly. And Aditya L1 is going to study all these particular phenomena. And Aditya L1. It has some very important payloads such as Aditya Solar Wind Particle Experiment Probe. There is a plasma analyzer package for Aditya. There is a triaxial high resolution digital magnetometers, which constantly will be uh, keeping at an eye on sun as well as all on. They will also be acting as uh, the space observatory. Okay, and any changes in environment, any changes in environment. Any changes in environment, environment etc. Whatever happens, it will be observed by that. Now, moving on. Moving on to the next article. Moving on to the next. Here we have this particular article. A distraction balloon in the winds of federalism. A distraction balloon in the winds of federalism. So this particular article is actually doing a critical analysis of recently proposed one nation, one election proposal. You might have also heard this one nation, one election a lot in so a critical analysis is being done. Now this particular article will see with respect to GS paper number two, related to governance, related to governance and policy. Now, first of all, let's uh, let me explain you some basic issues. When we talk about one nation, one election, it is a proposal that there needs to be one cycle of election for parliament as well as the state legislative assemblies. Till 19, from 1951, when elections started in independent India, there was a simultaneous elections for Lok Sabha as well as state legislative assembly that were happening. But after that, cycle got disturbed. And for studying one nation, one election proposal, recently a committee under the former president, Mr. Ram Nath Singh Kovind, Kovind has also been constituted. So a committee has been constituted in this particular direction. Now, article says this particular thing that uh, basically what is, is being said that one nation, one election, Unimplementable. Now, government is giving argument that from last 36 years, some of a state or a nation constantly we are having elections. From last 36 years, constantly there are elections that we are having. And it is said that whenever there are elections, every year election it diverts financial. Uh, when the election is imposed, model code of conduct comes in, and when model code of conduct comes, new schemes cannot be announced, developmental works, it is stopped. So therefore, a panel has been constituted to study one nation, election and former president, I told you. Now, article says this particular thing that all these particular arguments are wrong. We need to understand that this particular thing, that this expression is wrong, that India is on election every year. India is not on election every year. There are the states which are on election every year. And if election is going on in one state, how it impacts development in another state? If election is there in Assam, how it will impact the developmental project going on in Gujarat? So India is not at election. Rather, there is one or two state which are at election and only their MCC model code of conduct is there. Okay. And it has been said that also when we talk about all the parties are also not in election mode because many of the parties are regional parties, regional specific party. Only two prominent parties are there, BJP and Congress, which gets impacted by that. So therefore, it is being said that why only for these two parties 
basic constitution is getting changed why it is getting amended okay now moreover article also says this particular thing that we give we always give this particular argument that in 1951-52 we had simultaneous election but we why we had simultaneous election it is because this was a base baseline from which every state got started this was actually a baseline from which every state got started okay so they say this particular thing that it was a common baseline from which every state got and then got started so same election however they fell out of line after 1967 and let it be there okay now the next article says this particular thing that argument is given that it will lead to cost saving it will lead to cost saving now when we talk about how much cost saving will as per election commission of india and niti aayog they say this particular thing that right now the cost of conducting election is rupees 10 per voter per year this is what we are spending right now 10 rupees per voter per year we are spending right now for elections and it is being said that if we come to one nation one election this cost will be reduced to 5 rupees per voter per year but then more number of electronic voting machines have to be deployed more number of control units have to be deployed and they say that at the end of the day things will not change that much so therefore one nation one election one nation one election is not a very much feasible idea for india and even yesterday we have seen this for arguments that when there are constant elections that are going on at least political parties are reaching to the voter they are hearing their grievances okay so india being the mother of democracy have a biggest election exercise it is not very much feasible to have this one nation one election and yeah, this is a criticism given here uh, uh, however guys now it will take some time committee has been constituted committee will give its report then there will be many more articles that will again be coming every article you are not required to take okay. just as we are collecting points as we are taking articles you can keep on collecting the point and suppose one more idea yesterday there was idea on one article on one nation election today article is there you are not required to write this entire thing only those points you need from this article which are different okay emerging countries emerging countries need women uh, led climate action this particular article will take up with respect to the gs paper number 3 environment as well as gs paper number 2 women and related development now basically guys the article is talking about this particular thing that when we talk about gender equality gender equality is a very important goal and along with the gender equality environment is also a very important goal okay and both gender equality and environment as a goal they have been taken up in sdg sustainable developmental goals and we need to take up both of these complementarily according to united nation they say this particular thing that women they are highly vulnerable and they are disproportionately affected by climate change whenever climate change is happening women are the ones who clearly are impacted how women are impacted let's understand this particular thing that when we talk about women because of climate changes that happen women's risk to health safety quality of life they gets how they get increased now see when we talk about women who are living in the low income areas they need to go many kilometers to get water they need to go many kilometers to fetch firewood so that they can cook now what is happening when the climate change is coming when the climate change is happening there what is happening their labor actually is fine for example let me give you an example suppose because of climate change rainfall have reduced and as rainfall have reduced nearby water bodies now they are dried up a women has to go earlier she was going 3 kilometers for fetching water now she'll go 10 kilometers for fetching water so what happens when she is going 10 km her labor is increased she is more vulnerable to physical and sexual assault so climate change has directly impacted the quality of life of women many of the women guys today they are also they are also not having accessibility to clean water women they don't have accessibility to clean water they don't have adequate cooking fuel nutritious food and by climate change all these particular vulnerabilities they get increased all these particular vulnerabilities they get in then second thing is that guys when we talk about ilo according to ilo 
सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ वर्किंग वेमेन सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ वर्किंग वेमेन इन सदर्न एशिया इन सदर्न एशिया एज वेल एज इन सब सहार एन अफ्रीका सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ वेमेन आर स्टिल इन एग्रीकल्चर एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट एग्रीकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर इज गोइंग टू गेट मोस्ट इम्पैक्टेड बाई क्लाइमेट चेंज सो हेयर द वेमेन विल गेट इम्पैक्टेड एंड गाइज मैनी नंबर ऑफ अ टाइम्स वट इज हैपनिंग लेवल इज इंक्रीजिंग क्लाइमेट इज इम्पैक्टिंग मैनी अदर काइंड ऑफ अ लाइवलीहुड विच ऑल आर इम्पैक्टिंग सो नाउ इट इज नीडेड दैट वी इन्वेस्ट इन वेमेन सो दैट वेमेन्स वेलनरेबिलिटी कैन बी रिड्यूस्ड एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट वेमेन्स इन्वेस्टमेंट फाइन हेयर वी नीड टू डू इन्वेस्टमेंट इन वेमेन्स एजुकेशन वेमेन्स ट्रेनिंग वेमेन आर नीडेड टू बी गिवेन एक्सेस टू रिसोर्स विच आर एसेंशियल फॉर दैम सो दैट दे बिकम हाई स्किल्ड एंड दे कैन बी प्रोटेक्टेड फ्रॉम क्लाइमेट In the case of India, there is a positive example of Seva, Self-Employed Women's Association Seva. It is teaching women farmers how to respond to shifting climate patterns, okay, and how they can respond. They can re be uh, respond robustly in the face of climate change that is coming. So this is about this particular item. Okay, I hope that you have got it. Fine. Moving to the next article. telecom firms civil society groups divided over selective ban on now you are not required to go too much in detail in this particular article but this particular article simply provides a particular so basically guys recently and we have taken it earlier also recently department of telecommunication dot department of telecommunication dot it has given its suggestion that when there is a law and order problem what we do we complete send internet for example in manipur so they say that rather than suspending internet completely we can impose a selective ban on certain application for example whatsapp a ban on certain applications for example whatsapp now this particular suggestion has been given and the people they are divided on two sides one side they say that yes it is good rather than completely suspending internet let's bring that but on another hand it is said that it such selective suspension of internet it will become a kind of a at a tool which will have many negative implications in the future also whenever the government want they will do and they will go and they will suspend these particular platform this is something that is going on however guys final nothing has been explained. just dut has given it recommendation okay beyond that no need to go too much detail in this particular article and then moving on we have this article CBDCs can make payment across borders efficient. Thus, so this is uh, what has been said by the RBI Governor, Mr. Uh, Shakti Kanta Das. So, what is a CBDC? CBDC stands for CBDC. It stands for Central Bank Digital Currency. Now, Reserve Bank of India recently announced this particular thing that Reserve Bank of India is coming out with a digital currency. digital currency understand this particular thing it is not a cryptocurrency it is not a cryptocurrency it is simply the counterpart of physical currency for example you have physical currency the counterpart of physical currency will be the digital currency physical currency you can hold in your bank account or you can hold in your wallet digital currency will be held in a wallet that will be by the reserve bank of india and these digital currencies can be used of the things how it can be used now we will connect this particular topic with another topic recently what has happened we have signed an agreement with the uae where that trade with uae will be done in their respective currency so for example if any trade is happening with the uae we can now pay in rupee but how you will transfer that particular rupee to we can do these particular transfers by using cbdc fine that is by using the digital currency so according to rbi governor he says that by these currencies there can be the instant settlement for cross border payments that can be done okay and when we use the local currencies we can be protected from volatility in global currency for example today they are using dollar for international trade dollar is very much volatile suppose i am an exporter i exported uh, uh, so let's say i am an importer i imported some item from dubai and i agreed that i will pay 100 dollars let's say i am paying money after one month and in one month the dollar's value has got changed one month back one rupee uh, one dollar was equal to 80 rupees after one month one dollar has let's say become 100 rupees i will sell a lot of so because of volatility the foreign currencies there is a lot of losses 
but when we settle in local currency using cb all that particular thing would be resolved okay so this is something and then interoperable technology platforms can also be used for such kind of a transfer so this is what has been and then the main practice question for today it reads gender equality and environment goals are mutual reinforce and they create a virtuous cycle that will help accelerate the achievement comment so this will be yes paper number 10 marker that is all guys about it and with this we come to an end to the i hope that you have understood okay sir what is the meaning of a payload a uh, payload is any equipment any probe any detector that is placed on a spacecraft and that spacecraft will take. so payloads mean that seven payload mean that there are the seven equipments that have been there on this mission sir i am a commerce student i am difficult to understand science related topics uh, dear many number of a times problem is not of a topic but rather we have a mental block create this mental block that i am a science student i will find a difficult understanding humanities i by humanities student i will have a difficulty in understanding science okay need to break that mental block and nothing is there in the world which you cannot understand want so maybe you need to give more time but that can be resolved by that okay so thank you guys everyone now we'll be meeting tomorrow till then please take care of yourselves thank you so much